Out of our Tuscaloosa newsroom, Stillman College is temporarily moving to virtual learning because of the pandemic. CBS 42's Tim Reed has reaction tonight as the college takes steps to protect students and staff. The virtual learning process started today, but it's only temporary. Stillman College President Dr. Cynthia Warwick tells us two students tested positive this week for the coronavirus, and that's why she made her decision to go virtual. We just want to make sure that our population, students, faculty, and staff are the safest they can be. Students at Stillman College will now have to open up their laptops to do their classwork and to talk to their teachers. School administrators tell us it was the right decision to make. All of those students back in Tuscaloosa and all the cases in the city schools that we're seeing, we can control inside of our gates, but we can't control what's happening outside in the community. Every student we spoke to agrees with the decision to go virtual, but some were hoping it wouldn't be necessary. I'm so sorry and I'm so sad that people have tested positive, but it's for our own safety and it's for our safety to get tested now that we are and to take this vaccination. And I really think it's a good idea, even though it's not something we prefer. It is a great idea. All student activities and events will be postponed. That includes sports and practices. Band and choir activities will also be suspended. All dining in the cafeteria will be takeout only. It's smart to do that to keep everyone safe. You know, it's, uh, I'd like to be going in person and not missing out on baseball in school, but you know, we're staying safe. The college has held several COVID vaccine clinics to give students shots. There is also a campus mask mandate and students are expected to socially distance. I don't want to have a student that has, you know, get significant impact from this disease. Virtual learning will end Sunday, September 26th. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.